Hello, everybody. This is Mark Stone. I'm one of your fellow Globe Writers this year. And unfortunately, I can't be with you in Santiago, but I appreciate the opportunity to share my work and my vision for my Fulbright program. I'm going to be working in the Los Lagos region of Chile, which is down on the edge of Patagonia, and specifically working on climate change adaptation issues surrounding uh, the mega drought that's been underway for the last 12 to 13 years in Chile. I'm hosted by the University of Chile, but also working closely with Los Lagos University. To give you a little bit of orientation, got a quick map of Chile here in the blue region is a combination of the Los Lagos region and the Los Rios region. And I include them both because we are working across both of these areas with our partners, but my Fulbright work is gonna primarily focus in the Los Lagos region and primarily in this area between Puerto Montt, Frutillar, and the rivers that lead us out towards the coast in that area. This large lake that you can see both from the photo on the left and circling with my mouse, hopefully that's coming through, is Yankiwe, you know, very important water supply in the area as it feeds the Maoyin River, and also a very important um, attraction for tourism. This is gives you a, a glimpse into the beauty of the region. This is uh, the waterfalls on the Belo River. The point that I wanna make here is that it's a water rich region. Water is derived largely from snow melt in the high in the Andes um, that it melt, melts off through the rest of the year and also a large amount of winter precipitation. The challenge is that the region, um, a very important economic driver in the region is small dairy farms at the family scale. And these dairy farms rely on that winter precipitation carrying them through the drier summer months with occasional summer showers. But the mega drought in the area has caused a severe drop in precipitation during the summer months. So this gives you um, uh, the, some of the data from the region showing precipitation patterns over the last, um, basically since the beginning of this, of this record, which was around 1980, versus over the last decade or so. And what you see with these pink dots is they have continuously gotten very low precipitation, especially in those summer months. So we are working with the community hand in hand, the philosophy that, that my team applies is known as asset-based community development. The point being that we work hand in hand with the community to help uncover and help them realize their own solutions to problems rather than coming in with our solutions and trying to impose them on the community. And asset-based is to emphasize that we don't come in with a deficit mindset. These places are remarkable. They have all kinds of assets that are working in their favor. The idea is to start with what those assets are and to help them strategize on how they can use those to address any challenges that they perceive to chart their own path forward. This is also within a broader framework that I use in my research known as SETS. The point being that we wanna look at a really holistic approach to delving into understanding and looking forward in terms of the social, ecological, and technical components of the system. My work so far, uh, I should point out that my work's been a little bit unusual, that I, I need to come and go a couple of times due to some family issues back in the US. So I already started this work um, over the last several months. And so some of this has already been completed and some of it will pick up again when I'm able to return later in the Chilean spring. Um, we've been doing student trainings. So a lot of hands-on work, working with undergraduate and graduate students from both the University of Chile and the University of Los Lagos. This is meeting with a farmer in the Los Lagos region near Puerto Varas to learn about his operations and his perspectives on the biocircular economy. We also are doing a lot of hands-on training with graduate students to help build their capacity to take on this issue. These are a couple of young students from the University of Chile who are going to be working in the system. One of these students is gonna be focusing primarily on the social components and the other on the technical components and specifically on irrigation as a potential pathway forward for adaptation strategies. There's also a real lack of data in the area. So we are doing monitoring activities to better understand the connections between meteorological and climatological conditions and how watersheds are responding with a real strong emphasis on soil moisture because it's soil moisture that really provides the, the uh, bridge between winter precipitation from year to year. And we're also using an approach known as stable isotopes to better track and characterize water budgets in the area. So this is just some of the preliminary data. This is um, fresh out of the out of the, um, the Picaro 
uh, instrument in order to uh, understand enrichment processes. I won't go into the details on this. So more to come. I'm going to continue all, on all three of those fronts, community engagement, working with students through training activities and some course room, room work as well, and also carrying forward on those hydrologic monitoring efforts in order to inform the process going forward. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share the work that I am up to. I look forward to hearing about all the work that you will be doing as well and have a wonderful time in Chile.